All right, I know I haven't posted any videos in a little while, but I wanted to let you guys know what's been going on. We ended up with these two sweet little hens that look like they were from maybe an egg factory. Um, they've got their beaks clipped so they won't grow. Um, and this is Terry over here. And she, we've had him for, what, let's see, we got him on Sunday. And today is Tuesday, so we've had him for two days now. And this is little Mabel over here. And she has pepped up a little bit. I was kind of concerned. I'm still worried about her. She's kind of got a subdued, kind of hunched over position. Her posture has gotten better. Um, we've been giving them vitamins, calcium, layer hen feed because they're breed, um, red sex lynx or golden comets are bred to lay over 300 eggs every day. So I figured these little sweeties were probably deficient in everything um, and they were just really weak. A couple days ago so they've actually really perked up a lot um, they were found out in the country I don't know if they fell off of a slaughter truck or if somebody dumped them but we got the little sweeties now and they're so sweet despite all the abuse and neglect they've been through I, I really don't like how egg factory and meat factories treat their animals it's just absolutely awful so I'm in the process of cleaning their little pen here and getting them some fresh food and water. But this is little Terry here in the front. They both had uh, pretty significant um, scaly leg mites and lice. So I've treated them with ivermectin and Vaseline on their legs and Elector PSP. Um, it comes in a concentration, so you have to dilute it but I put Electra PSP on them and it killed uh, the fleas that, or not fleas, but lice that were on them. So little Terry, she's getting pretty spunky and actually kind of digging around now. Um, they're kind of in the process of molting. Uh, they're kind of halfway molting. So they've got really rough feathers and, and they smell Kind of like those sad meat chicken trucks if you have ever gotten stuck behind one of those so as soon as they get to feeling better i'll give them a bath and try to get them um, feeling even better first before i do that but little i am a little worried about little mabel although she has perked up a lot her posture's better she's holding her tail higher but um she almost looked jaundiced to me when we first got her and she's looking like her color might be getting a little bit better but I'll probably the vet's unavailable right now but as soon as I can get them into the vet I'll have them checked out but I was concerned that maybe Mabel had some liver issues going on I don't feel any ascites I just noticed how yellow her legs and her face on her skin are and I don't know if maybe that's a normal variant or if it's liver issues. So hopefully it's just a normal variant and it almost seems like it might be because she's really perked up within the last 12 hours or so. But you can see she hardly has a beak. Those mean people cut the top of their beaks. This is supposedly, or so I've heard, is extremely painful and their beaks will never grow properly again. I noticed that they can't eat as easily as and quickly as our other chickens that have their regular beaks. So it's very sad. Terry's had hers clipped too, but not quite as short as poor little Mabel's. So little Mabel's got a softer voice. So we'll see how these buddies do. I'll keep giving them lots of vitamins, calcium, uh, layer hen feed, and keep them quarantined away from our others um, until we know they're not carrying anything that 
microscopic that could be contagious. Um, I'll keep you guys posted, but this is a kind of a rude awakening for me and my husband and our families and friends um, to realize just how horrifying these uh, factory farms are and how terribly they treat their chickens and I'm sure all their other animals. It's just sickening. And it, I had seen pictures and videos of rescued, they call them X battery hens. I'm not sure why. Um, and I'd seen their beaks clipped and stuff, but it really hits home whenever you see it in person and you realize, oh, this isn't really put on. It is really real. They are really, really, truly treating them that terribly. And they clip their beaks supposedly to keep them from attacking each other or pecking at each other. But they wouldn't have to do that if they had enough room and space, like my chickens. They don't attack each other. Even one got stuck and they um, under a ladder one year and that was scary but I was there and I watched them and they were scared and nobody attacked her. I suspect that they have to or they think they have to trim their beaks um, because they're keeping them in horrible cramped quarters and they're stressed out and turning on each other which any animal would do in those circumstances. So yeah it's been kind of a rude awakening it's been extremely distressing and I'm just thankful that we have them and that they're starting to perk up and get some strength back. But I'll keep you guys posted. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.